plans to close U.S. plants. State Representative Gary Glenn is launching a campaign to repeal the state's prevailing wage law. Glenn says it'll make bidding for state construction jobs more competitive and save taxpayers money. However, union officials say the deal is anything but fair. NBC 25's Drew Moore has the story. State Representative Gary Glenn is setting his sights on repealing the state of Michigan's prevailing wage law. So I, I want to open the door for all Michigan contractors and all Michigan employees, union and non-union, compete on an equal basis and let the best man win. The law says a construction company which bids on state construction projects, like bidding on schools, could be required to pay their workers a prevailing wage, which in Michigan is determined by unions. Glenn says repealing it would save taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars that it'd be better to spend $224 million a year on the children in the classroom instead of putting up the walls of the classroom around them. But Justin Palmerville, president of the Tri-County Building and Construction Trades Union, says his 30,000 plus members will be the ones left out of work if the new law passes. What you'll get is, is you'll get out-of-state workers coming in. You'll get people that are unregistered, undocumented, and unqualified and uncertified. Palmerville says his union already is competitive with non-union shops when they are bidding for projects, and repealing wage laws won't save taxpayers money, but he says help the rich get richer. It's a fair wage for everybody. If you have 20 employees and they're all making $100 a week, or you have 20 employees and they're all making a dollar a week and you had the same bid, one guy's putting more money in his pocket, and it's not fair. Pomerville also says it's unfair that a select few people will have an impact on so many. He would like to see the voters decide the issue. Let's let 8 million people decide instead of 252,000. Reporting from Midland, Drew Moore, NBC 25 News. Now, Drew also says if the State House and Senate both pass the proposal to repeal the prevailing wage and Glenn is successful in getting 252,000 signatures on a petition drive, the legislation would automatically avoid a governor's veto and it would go into law.